Del Marva natives know all about how beautiful Assateague Island is, and the coolest part is uh, the seashore is right in our backyard. When people visit Del Marva, the wild ponies walking on the shoreline, well, that's a must see. And they're walking in some of the most beautiful natural landscapes around. So, as you can assume, that's going to attract a lot of artists. And our next guest is one of them. We'd like to introduce you to Mark Hendricks, an award-winning photojournalist and writer. Thank you for joining us this Thank afternoon. Thank you. It's great to be here. So the book is called Natural Wonders of Assateague Island. Give us an overview of this book. Basically, when I decided had this idea for a book project, I realized that most of the people I meet on my travels that know about Assateague, they think of it as only one of two things. One, wild ponies. Right to a vacation stop on their way to Ocean City. Yeah. And from there, I noticed the majority of books about Astig were about pretty much the same thing, just about the wild horses. And over my time working for different publications and working on Astig, travel and adventure and um, wildlife, endangered species type stuff, I had this realization that Astig is such a rich, biodiverse region. And a lot of people just don't know about that. And so I just had this idea for a book. And luckily, my publisher, Schiffer, agreed uh, to partner with me on it and now it, it just came out on June 28th and it's been a awesome. culmination of a couple years of work but it, I tried to do the, my best at showing the biodiversity of the region. So much yeah. more than just wild ponies. Yeah, so much, so much more. Such as? Oh my gosh, you, well you have tons of bird life because of the different uh, regions. You have beach, you have dune, you have forest, you have marsh and in each one of those regions you have specialty birds in each one you have the shorebirds you have the wild turkeys you have bald eagles you have the songbirds in the forest then you go out into the marsh you have all the wading birds there's river otters um, there's the sika deer which actually isn't a deer at all it's a, a small species of elk originally from east asia there's also white-tailed deer yes. uh, oh, and shells you've got shells here shells too. It's beautiful. Mm. So that's a snowy owl. You didn't run out of subject matter, did no. you? Good. No. Yes. No. Okay, so your images have been featured in many well known nature magazines and even in a gallery in California? Yes. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, so ba basically, uh, what I try to do with my images, I try to tell stories. So a lot of my work is all conservation based. So I work on different endangered species, and, and one of them was piping plovers, which I did a story on asking. And that was one of the impetus for the book idea. I've done stories on Delmarva fox squirrel. You can also find them in the Chincoteague National Refuge in the Virginia side of Assateague. Yeah. Shenandoah salamanders that are only found in Shenandoah National Park. A lot of my uh, work involves the Chesapeake Bay watershed and the coastal bays, and it's a region I grew up in. I'm from Baltimore. Right. And a lot of people don't realize there are pockets of wildness and really amazing animals that no one seems to know about that live here, and that's what I try to do with my storytelling. You obviously know a lot about what's here. You've, mm -hmm. you've taken images of, of a lot of it. Was there anything that surprised you? What surprised me the most is honestly how hard and how much wind, sand, and rain I had to deal with just to find a river otter <laughs> on Assateague <laughs> because apparently the, the, the word on the street is is that Delmarva is one of the richest areas for to find a wild river otter. Um, I, I don't know if that's true, honestly, <laughs> but I but I, it took a long time, but it I did I got one for the book, wow. and that's the only river otter I've ever still to this day ever seen on Assateague. They see you coming, wow. that's what it is. Exactly. Oh, they, they, <laughs> they like your mustache a lot more than mine, so... <laughs> Yeah, that's so fascinating. But, and you have a book signing coming up? Yes, I have a, um, oh, this Thursday at Ken Island Federation of the Arts in Stevensville. I have a lecture and a book sign. It's also a fundraiser for the Federation. And then also July 25th and 28th, I will be at Sundial Books in Chincoteague uh -huh. doing a book sign during uh, Pony Week. Very nice. Two yeah. book signs. So do I understand that you were taking images for eight years before you even signed with your publisher? Yeah, I, I think the oldest image is seven to eight years old in that book. It's a culmination of a labor of love just trying it. Because it was originally a just hobby doing the biodiversity of Aztec. Yeah. And then it led to certain magazine articles. And then I had enough of a library. I was like, I wonder if I could do this as a book project, luckily, luckily that worked out. And I would say that, I mean, you can't get everything, but I'm very happy with the finished product. And it, I think it shows Assateague in a new light and that it is this really amazing place that we're so lucky to have. And hopefully all that will be conveyed to the readers that, and appreciate the island just as well. Right. So are you, any projects in the future? I actually just started a project on um, uh, synchronous fireflies in the Allegheny Mountains of Pennsylvania. A really interesting firefly that most people only know about in the Smoky Mountains. And this population was discovered only five years ago. So I actually just got back 
from there um, documenting them and the, the nonprofit really? who works and tr trying to conserve the land. And that sounds yeah, so that's keeps me busy. Yeah, so. I bet. So this just came out June June twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. Yeah. Right. Well, you the book is it. Natural Wonders it. of Assateague Island. Thank you so Thank you. much for coming Good in and talking about it. it. And if you would like more information on the book, just go to delmarvalife.com.